Can I do ask you about the shores of the Atlantic, where our southern waters touch deep with the salty ocean? She stood and watched the sunset of the colonial rule that had held as shackled for 46 years. She said that the period of captivity were probably longer, but the years beyond 1914 were vague in her memories. Showing key moments that rocked the country's political scene. None and void. Eh? Oh, the people, they are enraged. And they marched on the streets, rioting, protesting, and agitating, demanding that their votes be respected. We know for we know we know for 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 we know we know for we Slum to School Africa, a social advocacy group created to change the lives of children living in rural communities, is the brain behind this project, put together for a good reason too. What we're basically trying to do now is to create um, an avenue where we can do more, where we can help more kids. So we're setting up a mentorship hub in Makoko, actually four mentorship hubs. And all of these hubs is about 10 million naira. So this show is to help us jumpstart the campaign to raise funds for the mentorship hub. to celebrate Nigeria, to look at our history over the last hundred years and how that basically has brought us where we are and how we could move ahead and forge um, and build a better future for our nation. Fellow Nigerians, this is democracy. Take it. What does it mean to think of nation first before self? The love of country has been a subject of warm commendations and is certainly a notable passion. But does that fire still burn in the hearts of many Nigerians? If you were raised in Nigeria in the last 20 years, you realize that patriotism was lost on us. I mean, I wasn't raised to love Nigeria. I was, the, the military came in and then corruption. There was just too many stories around for you to want to love the country. So what we did was to take aspects of our story and to tell it. We want to reintroduce history to the young generation. So our goal with the love of country is to ensure that young people know our country. If you can know Nigerians' problem today, 
the, we can then start the conversation around solving it so we don't repeat history. Nigeria is our home, you know, and lots of young people do not really understand our history or do not have a good understanding of, you know, the history of Nigeria, where we are coming from. And, that, and, and, and we know if you do not really know where you're coming from, it's difficult to move, you know, to build a better future or know where you're going to. And so this performance, it's quite um, very symbolic and it showcases Nigeria before independence um, down to um, 2014 and we're also looking at what the future would look like and that, that future will basically be a great future if we as young people start now to to take proactive um, um, efforts and building the future by firstly securing um, providing access to education to children who might never have an opportunity to go to school if we do not support them and changing our mindset as young people not just to complain about what the government is not doing right or to criticize the government but to get into the scene take leadership roles, not necessarily in politics, but wherever we find ourselves. The actors here intend to rekindle that passion and make everyone to think about the future, which could make them do things differently. I'm sure some of those scenes are all too familiar. We're taking a break now, but just take your time and try to figure out who our Artist of the Week is. Guarantee Trust Bank. Proudly African. Truly international. He came into prominence in the 1980s when he played a lead role of Okonkwo in an NTA adaptation of Chinua Achebe's all-time best-selling novel, Things Fall Apart. In 1987, he was appointed a director in Eastern Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation. Most of all, he moved into the movie industry and has featured and starred in over 200 movies. <laughs> <laughs> 